Well, well, well. I missed you. Did you miss me? No, I know you didn't, but I'm back anyway. Life has gotten pretty hectic since the last video. Between work, university and a hectic personal life including the birth of our first child, it has meant far less time making videos. It also means that you can expect plenty more dad jokes with less shame than ever. One thing you can be sure of is that my inconsistency uploading is definitely not due to a lack of things to talk about, particularly in the pharmacy world. In fact, arguably there's more going on now than ever before, particularly in some parts of the UK, as the profession is further changing. The main struggle is trying to upload with reasonable consistency while managing and keeping up to date with all these changes. So let's keep this brief. In the last video, we looked at how the pharmacy degree is changing. Universities throughout the UK over the next five years are working towards these changes so this next cohort of budding pharmacists will be able to qualify as independent prescribers and by 2026 this will be the first group of pharmacists to be IP qualified from day one of qualification. What we need to bear in mind though is that this is not just a change to the newly qualified pharmacists. It is a complete change to community pharmacy and the healthcare system as we know it. Anyone who watched my previous series of services will know that community pharmacies have a contract with terms on it with the NHS in order to provide NHS services. Over the years, these changes may have been brief, but now expect that things may change entirely. What it means is, as the journey progresses, while community pharmacy may still have some of its characteristic features, such as dispensing and the supply of medicines, this won't be what is at its core. It would be more based on consultations and services in an aim to alleviate the pressures on GPs. The next few years are going to be incredibly interesting for pharmacy, and for those getting started in pharmacy. If it's done right, it will be a model of a profession that evolves itself. Independent prescribers training up the next cohort of independent prescribers. Pharmacy delivering an array of services and the concept of community pharmacy not utilizing their clinical knowledge and skills or just sticking labels on boxes being a thing of the past. It would mean that over the years, the long wait to see a healthcare professional for an appointment could also change as pharmacists become more competent in the prescribing of various conditions and only those out of their scope being referred to the GP or other healthcare professionals. The changes to the UK pharmacy degree are just an element of what is a change not just to the pharmacy profession but the healthcare system. So whilst I try to find the balance between work, learning, delivering my most cringeworthy dad jokes and making videos and content, I really hope you do stick around. So please, subscribe, comment, like, share, so that the more people that engage, the more I can focus on content and try to convince everyone around me that this is not escapism, I'm not going through a midlife crisis trying to edit and talk to myself on videos, and hopefully that way my next video will be in weeks rather than months.